Here's my personal way of editing AI generated images and for this I always use Adobe Photoshop. So once I have my image imported into Photoshop, I make sure to remove as many imperfections as possible. So in this case I want to remove that part of the mountain and for this I choose lasso tool, select roughly the location I right click generated fill in most of the cases I leave this field empty and I press generate you normally gonna receive three options to choose from and then you just choose the one you like the most and then I repeat the same step over and over again around the image just to make it more clean more cohesive and I always make sure that as many details as possible make sense and they are not distorted also in many cases i create just a new layer i choose clone stamp tool here by holding alt button i scale the size of it and then again by holding alt button i sample the area that i want to clone and then I cover parts that I don't like much. Many times it is a faster way than using generative fill. Then I feel I want to add a little bit of glow to these windows over there. I press this button to create a new layer and then I will choose a color similar to this. Like that. Choose the brush tool, I hold Alt button, right mouse click to scale it up and then right click and I reduce the hardness so it's more soft as you can see. And perhaps I will adjust the brush form like this and I will add close to these windows here. Then we go to the blend modes and we change to one of these about color dodge and then I reduce opacity. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I add the glow. Perhaps I will do the same to a couple more windows. And then what I like to do is to merge all layers into one by selecting all, right click, and then I choose convert to smart object. By converting to smart object, we can still go inside and then we can uh, edit whatever it's needed. We save it and we close it. And the last thing I like to do is go to filter and use camera raw filter. And here I start with light. can see before and after then I go to color I normally add a little bit of vibrance in some cases I see if any of the tints can give an interesting look to an image like in this case a little bit colder temperature actually is not so bad I think I will add a little bit of coolness How about a little bit more vibrance like that and I go to effects and I normally add a touch. So as you can see before and after. And the last thing what they use is color mixer. I make add some more luminosity for the windows for the for the lampposts. So now by pressing this button you will see what we had before and what we have after.